buwan. Magandang umaga, magandang araw, magandang gabi! Hello, Internet Guy Vegans! Ako po si Rachel, your favorite Milan fan girl. And today, we are going to be talking about the... Filipino flag! No, wait, just kidding. Not Filipino. The Philippines flag! Pambansang Watawat ng Pilipinas. <laughs> also called Tatlong Bituin at Isang Ara. I was very interested in learning about the Philippines flag. I do use it many times in emojis when I message you all. So I thought that it would be a great time to talk about the meaning behind it and some fun facts that I've learned because I researched this. The look. So when you look at the flag, you'll see three different stars in this triangle little area and then a sun in the middle and then two bars or lines um, that's royal blue and scarlet or some people say crimson red as well. The three stars actually are representative of the three main islands. Main I oh, island group, not main island, <laughs> which is Visayas, Luzon, and Mindanao. And then the sun, it symbolizes liberty, equality, and fraternity. Okay, this was really cool. The eight rays. What? Each ray actually represents a Philippine province that was participating in the removal or the revolution against the Spanish colonial rule at the time. Manila, Bulacan, Cavite, Pampanga, Tarlac, Laguna, Batangas, and Nueva Ecija. Fun fact, the Philippine flag was originally influenced by the Cuban flag and then it was changed by one of the presidents of the Philippines and then after it was changed, it was changed back because there was an overruling by the people. In the end, it ended up being royal blue and crimson. The blue stripe is representative of peace, truth, and justice. Yes, justice. And then the red stripe is representative of patriotism and valor. Another fun fact that made me geek out. Did you know that depending on if the blue is on top or it's flipped and the red is on top, that is an indicator of whether or not the Philippines is at war? What? So the Philippines flag is not only a national flag, it was used as a war flag and a national flag. The National Flag Day of the Philippines is May 28th, this exact same day from the Battle of Alapan. The Battle of Alapan is so important and significant to the Philippines. It is actually the first victory that the Philippines had in the, in the Philippine Revolution. I can see why it's May 28th. It's kind of like in the United States with our July 4th on Independence Day. I thought that was super interesting. I love learning about the Philippine culture, whether it be food or birthdays or snacks or speaking with people and hanging out with Filipino people or the language. The flag is another one of them to the Filipino culture that may, helps me understand more about the country itself and about the Filipino culture. If you have anything else that you know about the Philippines flag, please leave a comment below. I'd love to learn more about it. I just thought that it was about time that I learned about this flag emoji that I keep posting all over my Twitter. Today's subscriber shout out is to Danielle Jaramia. Did I say your last name right? She commented. It was so sweet. I was just like, oh my gosh, you made my day, girl. Thank you so much for commenting and thank you so much for subscribing. And that is all that I have today. So don't forget to come back tomorrow for another video. And if you haven't done so already, I haven't said this in a while, but if you haven't done this already, please go ahead and subscribe to the big red subscribe button and be part of this Phil and Fangirl fam. That's it. I gotta stop. I'll talk. Talk to you. Bye! -bye.